The rate of primary total knee arthroplasties, or TKAs, being performed in the U.S. has increased exponentially, with an increasing number of younger patients seeking a TKA. As rates of aseptic component loosening are higher in younger patients, orthopedic surgeons need to find ways of reducing complications and increasing the durability of prosthetics. While the majority of TKAs are cemented, the cement is vulnerable to shear forces, releases microparticles, and can loosen over time. To overcome the poor performance of early cementless implants, the more recent implants share some design features similar to those of its cemented predecessor, but also have a highly porous titanium coating applied by 3D printing to encourage biologic fixation of the tibia. Orthopedic researchers at the Washington University School of Medicine and the Rush University Medical Center compared the clinical outcomes of cemented and cementless versions of the same TKA design. 147 patients were randomized to have either cemented or cementless knee prostheses, and patient outcomes were tracked for two years. Aside from the type of fixation, both prostheses were the same. Of the 147 patients, 141 were followed for an average of two years postoperatively. Results showed that both groups had the same perioperative blood loss and the same early pain levels. After an average of two years, the levels of patient satisfaction, clinical scores, and radiographic measurements were similar in the two groups. Thus, the results demonstrate that the recently introduced cementless prosthetic design provides outcomes equivalent to those of its cemented counterpart at two years of follow-up. These results warrant further surveillance to determine if there are longer-term benefits of the cementless prosthetic.